Hello, this is Trisha from Sandy and Auto, and I have a Value Village or savers, depending on what part of the country you're in, haul for you today. Now, these items are available uh, for sale as soon as you see the video. If you see something you're interested in, go ahead and leave a comment below the video, or you can send me an email, and my email address is in the description. Uh, these items will start being incorporated into my live sales on my YouTube channel, which are every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern and Saturday night at 10 p.m. Eastern. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and click that notification bell so you'll be notified when I go live for my uh, sales and when I put out new content. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> All right, so let's find um, or let's see some of the great items I found. <laughs> First up, now I love picking up art. And this was the only one I found um, to at this trip that interests me. But this is from Alaska. And look at this tree full of eagles. Isn't that just amazing? I absolutely loved this. And the scenery is gorgeous, too but a tree full of eagles is just mind-boggling. So that was a really fun one to find. And yes, I do have my little helper Joe here with me. <laughs> Next up is a puzzle. Now this I got because it was still sealed in its original packaging, and it is called, oops, that side is the French side, um, Snack Stack. And look at this sandwich. We've got all of the cold cut meats. We've got pizza, Cheetos, <laughs> French fries. I mean, this thing's got everything. But I thought that was a really fun puzzle. And it is a 500 piece puzzle by um, Springbok. Oh, that's the French side again. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. This is, this is a little on the big side. This is a scrapbook. Look at this thing. It is by Uniformed Scrapbooks of America. And it is a Santa. Oh, my goodness. Here, let me. Ah. <laughs> Can I get that off? Look at this thing. It is plush and fluffy. And there's a real, I'm going to say faux leather belt. But isn't that just incredible for the cover of this scrapbook? Oh my goodness, I love this. I don't know why somebody didn't use this. This is just too cool. Now, I'm not gonna get that back on. So I will just put it over here. Oops. I know sometimes, who am I kidding? I'm not getting that back on with one hand. All right, now I have got some really interesting linens here. And I, I'm gonna go ahead, I think, and stand up oh, for this one. So here we've got, now this isn't um, like a thick comforter, it's just like a little bedspread, but oh, look at all of these. Oh, I hope I got that up so you could see that. And they are um, stitched in. And on the back, you can see where they are stitched in. Really fun. Oh, I love all the designs on that. Okay. Then for the purple lovers, I think it goes this way. There we go. Isn't that gorgeous? And again, not uh, filled with anything, so it's just like a little cover. Um, this one's actually, yeah, this one you they it's a two layer. Um, but you can see where it's sewn in. Um, 
I would say it's, you know, both of these were done with a machine, but they were still um, hand, you know, handmade. Then we've got this one. Isn't that beautiful colors on this? We've got the green, the yellow, the pink, and the white. I'm going to say that's like a throw pill or a throw blanket size. Then we've got, yep, I know 4th of July just passed, but red, white, and blue is great all year round. And I'm going to say this is a throw size also. That is so cool. And then this one is really pretty with the kind of pink and peach. Almost looks like seashells. Really pretty stitch on this one. And this one I think is the biggest one. Yeah, it's, it's longer than the others. But, uh, yeah, I liked that color combination. Whew. Okay. <laughs> yeah, those were some really good finds. And I always love finding um, Afghans, even in the middle of summer when nobody's thinking about it. That's the best time to snag those <laughs> before the demand gets high again in the fall. I've got one of these little punch. So for everyone doing their um, fall um, crafts, we've got trees and a moose. So that'll be great for Christmas or just fall in general. Okay, I've got this, which is a Gregorian copper. And it's this beautiful, like, bowl. Um, not quite sure what you would use the bowl for, but it's kind of like a console bowl. And then we've got these two really nice candlesticks on the end. Pretty little swirl. So, yeah, I just thought that was really fun. And I just love all the copper. Uh, this is a hammered aluminum tray, and it has a pretty floral design. And it is by Cromwell. Cromwell hand wrought aluminum. Put that there. And then I found a real old tin, an authentic old tin. I thought that was pretty with kind of like the, um, the roses done in uh, Christmas colors. So it's kind of a, a twofer. So here is the bottom of this. And okay, I just had it open. There we go. Here is the inside. But yeah, this is a, a very authentic old tin. And boy, that would look great as a base in your displays or maybe a backdrop in displays, but that is a lovely tin. Okay, and I've got, okay, I've got a bag, I had to move that. And then this one, let me get that because again, they just put these things to cover up the design, I swear. You got this whole tin and you're covering up this design. So here are these really cute little girls. Look at them playing and jumping and skipping all around the tin. And then here is the top of it. Now she looks a little upset. This is the Kate Greenway collection and it's for Dar. I think it's Dar, D-A-H-E-R, made in England.
Now I picked up this. This is just a single. There wasn't another one of these. Oh, I would have loved to have had a pair of these. But I thought just on its own being a three candle candle holder was pretty impressive just on its own. That that would be beautiful. Get the three uh, lucite candles in there and boy, you would be set. And then I picked this up. So this is a beautiful, um, let's see. Oh, we've got an anchor hawking. So it's got the anchor hawking mark on there and really pretty gold trim that is all intact on that. Um, it's a three section server. Usually the gold starts to wear after a little while and that one was all intact. So kind of surprising. And I picked this one up. So this is the year six and she's got a pretty little cake and there is a sticker on here to say that she's a Joseph's original Japan but she does as you can see she's got a little chip right there so hard to notice and it's right behind the six but uh, otherwise yeah her head is on her wings are still attached the cake was still attached so she was a good one to find And I don't know how, but look at this. Um, and it, the design is on both sides. Now, how Balik ended up at Value Village, I do not know. Uh, so this one is marked Millennium 2000, but wow. Isn't that a beautiful pattern? And it is a vase. So uh, yeah, I felt uh, I felt pretty lucky. Now this one, I have a slightly bigger version of her. Isn't she cute? But yeah, I've got a girl that's a little bigger with a bigger bonnet than she has. She still has her Made in Japan sticker. But uh, yeah, isn't she something? Ceramic little flower holder. Now these I picked up, they are, um, they're world market, so they're not vintage, but they are glass teddy bear ornaments. Look how cute they are, red and white glass teddy bear ornaments. Oh, those are so cute. I really, didn't matter to me how old they were. I thought those were super cute. And just when you thought, is this the one? Let me make sure this is the one. Yep. So just when you thought that I found one piece of Balik, nope, I found two pieces of Balik. This is the Collector's Society. Um, makes me wonder how many other pieces of Balik I didn't get an opportunity to get. <laughs> but this is a hummingbird. I know my light is kind of drowning it out, but that is a hummingbird vase and the hummingbird is on each side. So yeah, two pieces of Balik. I'm still shocked. And these, I wasn't sure exactly what these were. 
I'm going to open this up. Um, but I was very intrigued by it, and I had to see what these were. So we've got like, they've got holes here, like you could put them maybe on a wall and have them be wall candles, I'm thinking. Maybe that's it, but they're so pretty. I think that's the original price on that one. But look how nicely painted these are with flowers. They're beautiful. And then they say, they say something on them. V. Jackson, hand decorated, California, USA. And then I think that says V, V E E, Jackson. So I'll look those up and see, but on my first instinct is that they're like ceramic wall um, candle holders, but really pretty design on those. So yeah, sometimes I'll just pick things up that look really cool and I have no idea what they are, but I'll do some investigating and then I'll learn something, you'll learn something. <laughs> And then I picked up this. Now, this isn't even the sticker. This is somebody else's sticker. But I will work on getting rid of that. And this is one of these little, um, I think this is the Bartlett Collins vase. This really cute little vase. And again, this is just sticker residue. I've got to get that off. But I just love these little bud bases. They are so cute. And just when you thought that was everything, nope, I've got some jewelry. <laughs> and I've got some amazing jewelry. Now the first piece here, is a rosary and this is a music box also so we've got a rosary inside and this is um, our lady of fatima by hector oh garrido i'm so sorry that is probably not how you say it i'm going to show this instead And I will turn that up there for the music box. And then on the inside, we have the beautiful rosary. There's the cross. And then here we have the same, oops, image that is on the box. And then we have these beautiful green beads. So I just thought that was a lovely set. And then you can see we've got some green um, little rhinestones on the outside. So yeah, I just thought that was so pretty. Okay. Then I had to pick up this pendant. Well, first of all, I had to see this pendant because all I could see were these little eyes right here and as soon as i got close to it i went oh, that's an owl look at that there's his little face his eyes his teeny tiny little feet down here and then there is a little latch and there is some kind of a some kind of a stone in here and if anybody recognizes that, um, feel free to let me know because I haven't got a clue what is in here. <laughs> but, um, but I liked the owl. I thought that was really, really neat. And then I picked this up. Um, this is just the pendant part.
part. And it is a beautiful cloisonne. I'm going to say these are probably cherry blossoms. But that was a really pretty pendant. And then this one. This one I'm dying to see if there's something on the back of. I couldn't quite tell. But here we have a little poodle pin. And look at that. I don't know anything about this, but it was a really cool looking poodle. So I had to pick that up. And I think there is something on the back that says jewel. Jewelarum. I'm going to try to get that close. I don't know if it's focusing on that or not. But uh, yeah, I just thought he was really neat. So I'll do some more looking uh, at him. And then I picked up this beautiful brooch all in black and silver. Isn't that pretty? And then I had to pick up the butterfly. Oh, isn't that one pretty too? It has like copper in here. And then these pretty kind of, are they gray? They're kind of grayish um rhinestones in there but yeah the i think it's just enamel but it's done to look like copper but that was so pretty okay and then i kind of did save the best for last which is this amazing ring now i'm going to make sure i get it going the right direction here let me see yep this way so here is this ring and it's going to be hard to see but it's got all of these like aurora borealis rhinestones in it so you can see the all of the blues and kind of that rainbow effect on there and then in the center here is a mermaid. How cool is that? All of these AB stones and a mermaid. Now this ring is, it's kind of large, I'm going to say. Um, I think my forefinger here is an eight. I'll have to double check that. I think that's about an eight. And this slips on and off. So I'm going to say this is probably a size, maybe a nine or a 10 even. So beautiful. Oh, I just love that. And then you can see the, all of the colors on that. So yeah, I had, I had an interesting blend of stuff, but, uh, but yeah, I think I picked up some real good gems at uh, Value Village uh, Savers, especially back here with all of the Afghans. I think those are fantastic, the sewn ones and the crocheted ones. Um, so yeah, so uh, thank you so much for watching. And uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and, um, and subscribe and leave a comment and share also <laughs> the video. I really do appreciate it. And um, I will see you next time, hopefully at my live sale, where you can get some of these great items. Take care.